previously on Yu-Gi-Oh! NT. Yeah, so I came to check me out. Whoa, I just saw somebody over there. That's where the signal's coming from. Oh, Flip something 14 dangerous. ran into the, the <laughs> thief who stole we the a prize. prize. Hey, Benny Keith, what's up? Enough of your games, Keith. Hand over the prize. Give me back the card you stole. Jeez, you again? You're like a bad rash that won't go away, dream. I'll finish you this time for good. Stop! Don't be so hasty, man and keep. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, guys. It's Maximilian Pegasus. Flip this out. 14 in the game ran I, into I, Pegasus. I'm sorry, sir. In America. Wait, sir? What? Man and Keith hates Pegasus. Let me handle this. Man and Keith, boy. Hey, hey you're, you're Maximilian Pegasus. Pegasus, what are you doing here? It's nice to meet you, Virginia Champion Boy. I'm shocked you've made it this far, Blood Boy. Since you're the winner of the latest tournament, I have a special surprise for you. I'll tool you personally. And yes, this is the event you're looking for, ultimately. It's not every day the creator of Duel Monsters challenges an amateur to a duel. You should be honored. If you win, though the odds are tiny, I'll give you back the grand prize that Bandit Keith stole. Ah, so he did steal it. He was just being coy last time. Ah, but, but, but it's mine in America. Are you saying I'm going to lose, Bandit Keith? <laughs> no, sir. Man, it's so weird to hear Bennett keep calling sir. Pokemon 14 engaged in an epic duel against Maximilian Pegasus. Called the one, that is very He was able to come out. And, uh, yeah, at the you know, end. If, if you don't, you got a card that I my kind of court here. I'll hunt them down to the ends of the earth in order to regain, regain my pride. Stand up to my blue eyes, boy. I need drink water. And I'll show you who's a mutt. And wait, that doesn't make sense. I'll get you, Kaiba. <laughs> All right. Oh, you got, you got, you got, you got. Goodbye. <laughs> Last time on Dragon Ball Z, the expert coming in tomorrow to crown the next king of games. This best will is only sent to the world's top duelists and tournament champions. Please meet tomorrow morning in front of the Alcatraz train station. The Expert Cup. Next time on Yu-Gi-Oh! Alright, let's do it, guys. <laughs> per perfect intro. Alright, so we're back with another episode of Nightmare Troubadour. Yeah, so... Nice little recap of last time. Uh, it's still uh, nighttime though, so we're gonna head back out here. All right, let's see who we can find. So basically, yeah, the uh, expert cut will begin tomorrow morning. Uh, but as for now, tonight we can still get into some duels and stuff. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed that recap and have been enjoying the storyline overall so far. I I, I really like the storyline in this game. It's really good. Uh, but let's get into a duel real quick. Let's just go over here. Is that Bones? I think it is. <laughs> I hope you're prepared. My ghost will give you the scare of your life. <laughs> you don't stand a ghost of a chance against me. All right, let's do it. Zombie deck. And we're trying out a new deck today. How appropriate. Ah, uh, hopefully I'll be able to show off the strategy. This deck's a little bit different than the kind I usually run. Uh, as far as the spells and traps go, the monsters, mostly the same, but, uh, we'll see. I draw. Alright, pretty interesting start here. Let's go with spell absorption. And that actually should help us counter Bones' deck quite a bit. Uh, from what I remember of this deck, um... Anyway, well, actually, maybe I'm thinking of Dawn of Destiny. Uh, let's see what you got, Bones. Armored Zombie, okay. So he probably runs his deck similar to Bakura, you know, with the uh, enchanting fit fitting room and the like. 
But my spirit reaper can't be destroyed in battle. Ha! All right, three face downs. Holy crap! All right, Knight Assailant is good. yeah. Okay, so he does run it. Okay, this is the combo I was thinking about. Yeah. So his deck kind of runs like a zombie power approach with Skull Invitation. Yeah. Uh, each time a card sent to the graveyard, click three hundred points per card to its owner's life points. Yeah, so Spell Absorption should counter that. Uh, let's go with... I'm actually not going to play anything. I'm going to let him build up his field quite a bit, and then we're going to hit him with the good old Lightning Vortex. Good thing you didn't set that in defense mode, buddy. And then switch it to attack. That would have been bad for us. Ah, how appropriate. Okay, check this out. Yeah, can only play this when your opponent draws a card outside of his or her draw phase. Draw two cards from your deck. So, this is the main strategy of this card, is to basically use this card and other cards that uh, make the opponent draw, and then to draw as many cards as we can off of appropriate. Uh, hmm, now I am a little worried since he, s he tributes set. That's kind of odd. Uh, hmm, I don't even think I want to play Foolish Burial. Um, let's set out some bait here. I'm kind of worried about what he tributes set there. I'm not sure what bones would tribute set. Let's set out Sinister Serpent just to draw stuff into attack mode. Okay, Premature Burial, this is good. I think we'll be using Lightning Vortex next turn. As long as he switches that monster key set to attack, we'll use Lightning Vortex. Switch to attack mode, please. Okay, Violet Crystal. You know, if he was smart, he would have equipped that to my Spirit Reaper, and that would have popped it, and that would not have been good. Okay, good. Oh, it's just Zan Key. Okay. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's definitely worth the 300 points. I was actually afraid he set, uh, like, Pump King, the King of Ghosts there. But no, just Zanky. Just Zanky. Not a problem. Yeah, we'll take a little damage. Not a problem. Not a problem, Bones. Alright. Let's draw. Ah, Satellite Cannon, eh? That is a pretty good card. But, let's go with... Let's make him lose a bunch of life points, Lightning Vortex, and I'll discard Sinister Serpent, of course. So yeah, we will take 600, but we'll gain 500, but he'll take a whole lot more. Bye-bye, 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 and bye-bye. Good combo there. With his own school invitation, oh man, we're going to take 1,500 damage from his own card. Holy crap. That is good, and in fact, I think we would see that in an instant replay. I'll set Magician of Faith and end my turn. <laughs> oh, whoops, I accidentally entered my battle phase. If I was smart, actually, I should have. I should have attacked directly with Spirit Reaper there, too, but oh, okay. Maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't have tried with Spirit Reaper. Yeah, he's got Skull and uh, Lair to combo with Skull Invitation. That honestly is a pretty good combo. So Skull Lair, basically by removing a certain number of monsters in your uh, graveyard, uh, you target a monster... Ooh, this is good. We drew Mind Wipe. Okay, okay, this is good. This is good. Uh, first of all, let me make sure he doesn't have one monster in his graveyard. Uh, but to finish Skull Lair, yeah, whose level stars are equal to the number of cards you remove from play, so, like, he removed three monsters there, got to target a level three monster. Good, he doesn't have any more monsters. Okay, so this should be safe. So let's flip Magician of Faith. There we go. Let's take back Lightning Vortex. I think that's a good call. Alright, and we will... I'll actually go ahead and... Let's use Mind Wipe here first. So what Mind Wipe does, yeah, if the opponent has three or less cards in their hand, they shuffle everything back and then draw the same number. Now that might have helped him unbrick, but more importantly, yeah, a player drew a card, activate the effect of a card. Now we can play this, appropriate. Yeah, there we go. So now if he draws another card by a card effect, we will be able to uh, draw two cards. So what I'm actually gonna do, 
is play Feather of the Phoenix. And believe it or not, I am going to take back Mind Wipe. There we go. Because then next turn, we'll be able to uh, use Mind Wipe again. As long as he has at least one card in his hand, and we'll be able to draw two cards. So, yeah, kind of glad I got to show off the combo in this deck. Uh, I guess for now, uh, he doesn't have any monsters, so I'll attack him directly, or I'll try to. Okay. And then in the main phase two, I will tribute for a uh, satellite cannon. Which is just, you know, kind of a, a good stall card I threw in this deck. But yeah. There we go, satellite cannon. Nice. I love the uh, artwork on that card. It looks, it looks so cool. It's, it's, it's basically, it is what it says it is. It's a satellite. <laughs> uh, but its effect uh, lets it gain a thousand points during uh, each of my end phases. So, oh, good. And we didn't unbrick him. That, that's perfect, almost. Ah, Robin Zombie, huh? Okay. All right. Let's get back Sinister Serpent here. All right. And during the main phase here, we will activate Mind Wipe again. Man, so he shuffled his hand back twice, and he still didn't get a monster? Uh, that's kind of crazy. Alright, and now Appropriate should activate. Yes, yes, yes. Yes! So now we get to draw two more. Awesome. Yeah, and here come the stall cards that kind of combo along with this. Uh, so yeah, we'll set Wall of Light. And of course, uh, Solemn Wishes definitely combos with this because basically anytime he draws cards outside of his draw phase, we draw cards, and then Solemn Wishes will gain his life points. So yeah, pretty good combo. Um, let's go ahead and set Night of Salem. That way we can uh, destroy anything he uh, summons. So, there we go. We'll attack with Satellite Cannon for a thousand. Alright. Now, normally I would hold off on Satellite Cannon and let it charge back up some more. Uh, but he's got no monsters, so we might as well do the damage while we can. And plus, next turn, I can just pop his, uh, whatever he plays. Uh, Vengeful Bog Spirit is interesting. Considering, oh, he still doesn't have any monsters. Still, okay. I was gonna say, like, because if you summon, if he would have summoned that turn, he wouldn't have been able to uh, to attack. Still, uh, let's go with Solemn Wishes here. Should have played that when he played Ventral Bob, but it's okay. Uh, and I'll actually go ahead and summon Sinister Serpent. Because now his monsters can't attack when they're summoned, so Sinister Serpent will be able to attack next turn, but it should be safe. Basically, he's stalling himself out better than better than we are, <laughs> so might as well do it. Might as well do it. All right, Bones, I end my turn. Satellite Cannon will charge. All right. What you got? Nothing. You got nothing, son. Man, he just can't draw a monster for whatever reason. Alright, Solemn Wishes. And yeah, another card that combos with this deck, Hero Shadow Scout. Opponent draws three cards. Any spells among them are discarded. Alright, um, but I think we'll just attack with everything first here. Yeah, Sinister Sharpen, go. And Satellite Cannon as well. And then in the main phase two, I think I will probably tribute for Jinzo. Let me think here. Yeah, because with these two up, I could attack with, uh... Hmm. Although Jinzo does shut off my own of traps, is the only issue. Um... Uh, yeah, let's do it. It should be... It also shuts off his traps, though. This should be safe, honestly. So yeah. Jinzo. Alright. I end my turn. And I should honestly think about taking Jinzo out of this deck, believe it or not, just because this deck does, uh... It does the combos with trap cards, so... Jinzo kind of clashes with that, in a way. Um, yeah, we'll take out Sinister Jerman. I think I just threw Jinzo in here, though, because, I mean, its effect is so good. Especially if you're shutting down the opponent's traps, like, basically, three of his cards that are face-up don't even work right now, so that's, that honestly is pretty good. But, yeah, kind of glad I got to show you guys a bit of a different kind of deck there. 
How appropriate. All right, and let's take a look at the points here. 71, not bad. Let me get a drink of water here. Oh no, I lost, boss, boss. That was a bad bones of mercy. You don't stand a ghost of a chance. All right. New mail. Uh, is it just that one we opened last time? The expert cup. Oh, okay. The expert cup begins tomorrow to crown the next king of games. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure we already read this one, right? Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, we read that at the end of last episode. Uh, one thing I did want to show you guys real quick, though. So let's take a look at a couple things. So after we got back our prize, right, we got, uh, oops, yeah, we got this. And this was basically what was in our prize, Silent Magician Level 4. Yeah, it gets a spell counter each time the opponent draws a card. And, ooh, I just saw it. That would be pretty good in the How Appropriate deck. Hmm... Yeah, when five spell counters are added during the standby phase next turn, you can special summon magician, Silent Magician Level 8. You may wonder, where where do I get Silent Magician Level 8? Hmm, well, keep staying tuned and you'll find out. Uh, also, we got um, a couple other things. So if you go to the recipe viewer here, yeah, you'll now see a BC uh, Beginner Cup Champ 1 and 2. We got the recipes for these. So this is BC Champ 1, uh, kind of a pretty solid deck, it's got like Gemini Elf, Chaser, Maha Bylos with a few equips, and a Kunai with Chain, uh, as well as Time Wizard, and uh, Penguin Soldier, Man of Your Bug, it's pretty solid, a couple of Dimensional Warriors uh, with uh, Buster Blader, so pretty solid deck honestly, as well as Robin Goblin, Spellbinding Circle, Ultimate Offering, and Trap Hole. And if you see BC Champ 2, uh, this is, deck is a bit better in my opinion. Uh, it's got a couple of Mystic Tomato, Mask of Darkness, Big Shield Gardener, Cyber Jar, uh, Pot of Greed, Magician of Faith, Mystic Plasma Zone, Mirror Force, 2 Magic Arm Seal, 2 Kunai with Chain, and uh, yeah, some good stuff. Force Raider, Summon Skull. Yeah, pretty good deck. Pretty good deck. Uh, but yeah, I don't know why the random armored zombies in there, but yeah, as well as acid trap holes. So yeah, we got the recipes for those as well at the end of last episode. Uh, yeah, but let me go to this deck destruction and real quick, let me go to the trunk, throw in that silent magician level four. So that would be pretty good with this deck strategy. Uh, let's see, yes, silent magician. There we go, Silence. There it is. Silent Magician Level 4. Alright, we'll throw that in. And uh, just to make sure, I will save this recipe. How appropriate. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Of course, I'll throw in the Level 8s uh, if we can get it somehow. Alright, what that will save. Okay. Alright. And let's go to bed here. All right. See what happens. See what happens uh, since they were talking about the expert cup tomorrow. It's morning. Indeed it is. Yeah, I made the expert cup. I gotta give it my all and get my game on. Uh, wrong series, Josh. Wrong series. Anyway, so now the game will automatically take you here to the Domino train station which connects to, and I guess I should show the full view to show you guys, connects to, oh yeah, it's Battle City, guys. <laughs> I love the story in this game. Listen up, Julius, it's me, Seto Kaiba. All the competitors have gathered here in Battle City. This tournament will be unlike any other tournament in the world. <laughs> the winner of the Expert Cup will be given the title, The New King of Games. A competition this important will be over quick. <laughs> Jesus, she said, why would they want to do that? This tournament will last several days. 
Duel as many opponents as you can. <laughs> Only competitors with the highest duelist level will be permitted to enter the final rounds of my tournament. Battle, win, and survive. That's all. Oh man, and epic music there. And yeah, with that, we are in a new part of the city. Alright, so. Da -da 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 -da. And I love this little theme. Uh, but what time are we at? About 20 minutes? Um, well, there are a couple new duelists around here to find. But um, I'm actually going to... With the announcement of the Expert Cup now underway, I'm actually going to uh, end this episode here. And uh, I'll just... Uh, we've got three new duelists here. But I'll just save here real quick. And we will continue this in the next episode. So, thank you guys for joining me. And I'll see you all next time. Have a good day.